All right, some names that might be very familiar to Virginians from history class include Pocahontas, John Smith, and John Rolfe. But did you know the names of the first Africans who were forced into servitude here 400 years ago? With that in mind, a group of students welcomed a chance to view the 13 News Now documentary, 20 and Odd, Africans' Arrival in 1619. Janet Roach picks up the story. We met a group of Richmond 10th graders who were very sharp and eager to learn, but one story they knew very little about is the one about the first Africans to arrive in English North America right here in Virginia. Over the years in social studies, since uh, elementary school, we've talked about it, but really nothing much in detail. There is a lot these high schoolers at Mills Godwin High can tell you. John Rolfe and like John Smith and Pocahontas. About what was happening in Virginia some 400 years ago. But there is a lot they just don't know because it was never taught. Actually, I've never heard of it and I'm pretty interested in listening. Mm -hmm. There's really not like a lot of in-depth going on mm -hmm. and like personal experiences. The story of how the Africans came to English North America for the first time, captured from their homeland and forced into servitude, arriving in 1619 in Hampton. They were like really confused, mistreated, but like we don't know anything like beyond that really. We learn about what happened, but we don't learn about really the effects of what happened afterwards and how that's kind of contributed to different like modern institutions of racism that we have in this country today. If you start teaching them about the mistakes of the United States, it kind of takes away from the patriotism that they're supposed to teach in schools. So mm -hmm. it's not really talked about as much as it should. So they invited 13 News Now to share our documentary, 20 and Odd, Africans Arrival in 1619. Every day when I drive through the gates, I'm reminded that my ancestors were enslaved here. And sometimes that's emotional, to be quite honest with you. The Africans have landed at Point Comfort, some 20 and odd on the White Lion. More than 300 students, all in Godwin's 10th grade class, listen and learn and get a new take on a centuries old story. The, the thing that stood out the most was probably tracking down the family of like the first uh, African-American born um, person and like seeing their heritage. The documentary, it finally started like to give names to some of the like African Americans who first arrived. The biggest thing that stood out for me was just the name Angela itself because it's kind of a start and your name is really important because it's your identity and it's who you are. It was nice to be able to see something that like you can identify with and something that you can relate to how your ancestors came here and just have that representation that you don't get. You can catch the documentary Friday at 3.30 p.m. on 13 News Now, 20 and odd, Africans arrival in 1619. Janet Roach, 13 News Now.